just lift your hands ahead of right now and pray with me? Say, Lord, when we strive after healing in the world and nourishment for those who hunger, then we find you at our side. Lord, whenever we long to see your face, help us not to avoid the corners of our communities where you most often dwell. Stir our hearts, O oh God, that we might seek and find you today in those places that you have promised to be. In Jesus' name.
And that lesson that we learned is what we're here to celebrate even today. The celebration's already begun. Amen. Amen. And it is that the Savior is born. Yes. The Savior is born. Are you excited about that? That Jesus yes. came yes. to set the captives free. I'm going to ask my wife if she would come up and read this morning. And if you want to turn with her, Brother Ed, go ahead and turn the house lights on. If you turn to Luke chapter 2. Uh, she's going to be reading from the New King James Bible, verses 1 through 21. Luke chapter 2. The reading of the Lord. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place while Quirinius was governing Sirius. Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the Lord said to them, Do not be afraid. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with an angel, with the angel, a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was, when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard them, heard it, marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all those, these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. And when eight days were completed for the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The reading of the Lord's word. Aren't you, are you encouraged by 